Welcome, everyone. Today, we'll take a brief journey into the captivating world of particle physics, exploring the fundamental building blocks of matter, the forces that govern them, and the practical applications arising from this knowledge. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the subatomic universe. Let's dive in. At the most fundamental level, matter is composed of elementary particles. These particles are considered the building blocks of matter. In the standard model of particle physics, there are two main categories of elementary particles, fermions and bosons. Fermions are particles that make up matter and are characterized by having half-integer values of spin. They are divided into two groups. Quarks are fundamental particles that combine to form protons, neutrons, and other hadrons. There are six types, or flavors, of quarks, up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Leptons are another type of fermion. Examples of leptons include the electron, muon, tau, and their associated neutrinos. Bosons, on the other hand, have integer values of spin and act as force carriers between particles. Gauge bosons, these include the photon, mediator of electromagnetic force, W, and Z bosons, mediators of weak nuclear force, and gluons, mediators of strong nuclear force. The Higgs boson, discovered in 2012, is associated with the Higgs field and is responsible for giving particles their mass. These elementary particles are the smallest known constituents of matter and are currently considered indivisible. Quarks and leptons are considered to be point-like particles without any internal structure. Understanding the properties and interactions of these particles is fundamental to our understanding of the universe and the forces that govern matter at its most fundamental level. But how to produce elementary particles? Elementary particles can be produced through heating, ionization, cosmic rays, nuclear reactors, and particle accelerators. Heating plays a crucial role in electron emission. In an electron gun, typically found in cathode ray tubes, heating is applied to a cathode. This process, known as thermionic emission, involves raising the temperature of the cathode, causing it to release electrons into the surrounding space. These emitted electrons form the basis of the electron gun. The electron gun focuses and accelerates these electrons using electromagnetic fields. Once accelerated, the electron beam becomes a dynamic tool for creating visual displays. Ionization is the process in which an atom or a molecule gains or loses electrons, resulting in the formation of ions. In particle physics, detectors often rely on ionization caused by particles passing through a medium. When charged particles interact with atoms or molecules, they can knock electrons out of orbit, creating ion pairs that can be detected to identify and measure the passage of particles. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles originating from outer space that travel through the universe and can reach the Earth. They include protons, electrons, and atomic nuclei. Studying cosmic rays helps scientists understand the properties of these high-energy particles and their interactions with Earth's atmosphere. Additionally, cosmic rays can contribute to background radiation, affecting certain experiments and technologies. Nuclear reactors serve as apparatuses that manage nuclear reactions to create elementary particles or generate electricity. Within these reactors, nuclear fission takes place, involving the splitting of an atom's nucleus into smaller components, resulting in the release of energy. The significance of reactors extends to the generation of elementary particles and the production of isotopes crucial for diverse applications, such as medicine and research. Particle accelerators are powerful machines used to accelerate charged particles, such as protons or electrons, to very high speeds and energies. These accelerators can collide particles or direct them into targets to study their behavior, the fundamental forces, and the creation of new particles. Particle accelerators are essential tools in particle physics research, 
with various types designed for different purposes, such as colliders or linear accelerators. Knowing how they are produced, how then do we detect elementary particles? Elementary particles can be detected through Geiger counters, cloud chambers, bubble chambers, spark chambers, drift chambers, photographic emulsions, Cherenkov counters, scintillators and photomultipliers. Geiger counters, these are devices used to detect ionizing radiation, particularly alpha and beta particles, and gamma rays. They work by measuring the ionization produced in a gas by the radiation. A cloud chamber is a device that allows the visible tracking of charged particles by creating a supersaturated vapor. As charged particles pass through, they create trails of tiny droplets, making their path visible. Similar to cloud chambers, bubble chambers detect charged particles as they pass through a superheated liquid, creating trails of bubbles along their paths. Spark chambers detect particles by creating sparks along the path of charged particles. They were an early method of detecting and measuring the paths of high-energy particles like cosmic rays. These are used in particle tracking systems and particle accelerators. Drift chambers detect charged particles by measuring the movement of ions in a gas. Emulsions consist of layers of photographic material that can record the tracks of charged particles. They were historically used in early particle physics experiments. Cherenkov counters, named after physicist Pavel Alexievich Cherenkov, leverage the intriguing Cherenkov radiation phenomenon. As charged particles move through a transparent medium at speed surpassing the phase velocity of light in that medium, but not exceeding the speed of light in a vacuum, they emit a distinct blue light. Cherenkov counters detect this phenomenon, aiding scientists in identifying and measuring particle velocities in high-energy physics experiments, providing valuable insights into the subatomic realm. Scintillators are materials that emit light when charged particles pass through them. They are used to detect and measure particle interactions by sensing this emitted light. Photomultipliers are detectors used to amplify the signal of light emitted by scintillators or Cherenkov counters. They convert the light signals into electrical pulses for analysis. Each of these detection methods has its advantages and limitations. Scientists often use a combination of these detectors in complex experiments to accurately observe and measure the behavior and properties of subatomic particles. The choice of detector depends on the specific requirements of the experiment and the particles being studied. Now, what governs particle interactions? Particle interactions are governed by four fundamental forces, each with its unique characteristics and range of influence. These forces, described by specific theoretical frameworks in particle physics, include, gravity, electromagnetic force, weak nuclear force and strong nuclear force. Gravity is the force responsible for the attraction between masses. It is the weakest of the four fundamental forces but has an infinite range. In the realm of particle physics, gravity's influence is primarily observed at cosmic scales, such as the interactions between planets, stars, and galaxies. However, in the realm of subatomic particles, the gravitational force is incredibly weak and is often negligible in comparison to other forces, making its effects hard to detect in particle interactions. The electromagnetic force is responsible for interactions between electrically charged particles. It has an infinite range and is relatively strong. This force is mediated by photons and influences charged particles' behavior, leading to phenomena like electric and magnetic fields, as well as the interactions between charged particles, such as electrons and protons. Electromagnetic interactions are crucial in the formation of atoms and molecules, as well as the operation of electronic devices. The weak nuclear force is involved in certain types of particle decay processes and interactions that change the type of quarks and leptons. 
This force has a short range and is responsible for processes like beta decay and neutrino interactions. The weak force is mediated by W and Z bosons and plays a significant role in some radioactive decays and nuclear reactions. The strong nuclear force is the most powerful force but operates over a very short range. It's responsible for holding quarks together within protons, neutrons, and other particles, as well as keeping these particles confined within atomic nuclei. Gluons mediate the strong force between quarks, binding them to form hadrons, such as protons and neutrons, and other particles. The strong force is a key component of the theory of quantum chromodynamics, QCD. Understanding these fundamental forces and their interactions is crucial in the field of particle physics. The development of the standard model has aimed to describe and unify three of these forces, excluding gravity, within a single theoretical framework. However, unifying all four forces under a single theory, a theory of everything, remains one of the major goals in physics. What then are the experimental probes for particle interactions? Particle physicists explore the subatomic realm through experimental probes, focusing on particle scattering, decays, and bound states. This experimental method involves colliding particles together and observing the outcomes of these collisions. High-energy particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider (LHC). At CERN, accelerate particles to high speeds and smash them into targets or other accelerated particles. By analyzing the scattering patterns and the particles produced after these collisions, scientists can infer information about the fundamental forces, constituents of matter, and their interactions. Scattering experiments provide valuable insights into the structure and behavior of particles. Particles decay over time into other particles, and studying these decay processes provides crucial information about the properties of the decaying particle. Particle detectors capture and analyze these decays to understand the rules that govern how particles transform into other particles. For instance, the study of particle decays has led to the discovery and understanding of particles like the W and Z bosons, as well as the Higgs boson. Decays also contribute to verifying the predictions of theoretical models in particle physics. Bound states refer to particles held together by strong forces, forming composite particles. For instance, protons and neutrons are composed of quarks held together by the strong nuclear force mediated by gluons. Experiments aiming to understand bound states involve studying the properties of these composite particles. Particle accelerators and detectors help to reveal the internal structure, interactions, and properties of such bound states, shedding light on the behavior of the fundamental forces that govern their existence. Each of these experimental methods plays a vital role in unveiling the underlying principles of particle interactions. They contribute significantly to the validation of theoretical models, the discovery of new particles, and the exploration of the fundamental forces and constituents of matter. The collaboration between experimental methods and theoretical frameworks is crucial in advancing our understanding of the subatomic world. And what can we gain in studying subatomic physics? Thorough knowledge of the subatomic world have made significant contributions to the following fields such as medical technology, energy generation, material science, information technology, environmental applications, space exploration, national security, and fundamental research. Particle physics has contributed to the development of medical imaging devices such as PET, positron emission tomography, and MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, which are essential for diagnosing and treating diseases. Understanding subatomic particles is crucial for developing nuclear energy, both in terms of nuclear power and potentially fusion energy in the future. Additionally, particle physics research contributes to advancements in solar energy, batteries, and other renewable energy sources. 
Insights gained from particle physics can lead to the development of new materials and technologies, improving the efficiency and properties of materials used in various industries. Particle physics research has driven innovation in computing and data processing, leading to developments in high-speed computing and data storage technologies. Techniques and technologies developed in particle physics research, such as particle accelerators, are also applied in environmental monitoring, pollution detection, and remediation. Understanding subatomic particles contributes to space exploration by enabling the development of advanced propulsion systems, materials for spacecraft, and instruments for exploring outer space. Particle physics plays a role in national security through the development of advanced detection methods for identifying nuclear materials and enhancing security measures. Particle physics has broadened our understanding of the fundamental forces and particles that make up the universe, contributing to our comprehension of the cosmos and its origins. Overall, while many of the practical applications of studying subatomic particles might not be immediately obvious, the knowledge gained from particle physics research often leads to technological advancements that influence various aspects of our daily lives, from healthcare to energy and beyond. Now, let's summarize our discoveries and explore the key takeaways from our journey into the subatomic world. Quarks and leptons, the smallest known constituents of matter, are the foundational building blocks, revealing the intricate structure of the universe. We've learned about the fascinating methods employed to produce these particles, from harnessing cosmic rays to the controlled environments of nuclear reactors and particle accelerators. To observe and measure particle behavior, scientists use an array of detectors, such as Geiger counters, cloud chambers, and Cherenkov counters. At the heart of particle interactions are the four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetic, weak nuclear, and strong nuclear forces, each playing a distinct role in shaping the subatomic world. Our experimental probes include particle scattering, decay studies, and investigations into bound states, providing valuable insights into the properties and behavior of particles. The impact of our exploration extends far beyond theoretical understanding, with practical applications in medical technology, energy production, materials science, information technology, space exploration, and national security. In conclusion, our journey into the subatomic realm underscores the importance of understanding these fundamental particles, not only for scientific curiosity but also for driving innovation and advancing technologies that shape our world. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the subatomic world. As we continue to unravel the mysteries at the smallest scales, we find ourselves at the forefront of scientific discovery and technological progress.